hey, this is my first kind of video of this kind of a format and shout out to Loom for enabling it because there's a five minute counter. What I'll do is I'll have a topic and there'll be five pointers and I'll learn through it. So the topic that I'm picking is my experience using TDG or DuckDuckGo instead of Google search for six months. Interesting topic. Uh, I've experienced it myself, so I'd love to share my observations. The first point, the main point is how good or bad is it? Well, it's pretty good and I'm going to demo it to you. So I've set DDG as my default, so it takes my Omnibar everywhere on my desktop as well as my uh, mobile and Brave is my default browser as well. So let's take a query, right? Uh, iPhone mini, something that maybe I want to buy. Uh, and this is what DDG throws up. Pretty fast results. My net speed is the same for both. And let's go into Google and let's see what it throws up. Now, here's the difference, right? Between, say, a Google where it shows you a lot of data, rich data, ratings, but it all seems like a purchase kind of driven uh, site, ads purchase. Whereas DDG is straightforward. The organic main result of the website, which is Apple, is first up. Uh, and you have news articles and then you have certain other stories that are there. But it's not too much saley, so to speak. There is there is obviously a link for an ad, but it's not too much in your eye. Whereas Google, uh, it's, it's a little too much for me. At least personally, that's my personal choice. I don't like this kind of a view. I'd much rather prefer it tells me exactly about the phone as opposed to you know buying the phone. If I said buy iPhone mini, yeah, maybe this makes sense. But yeah, that's where the difference starts. So that's pretty good. It works, it's stable, it's fast, it gives you results as needed. That's a good point. But then coming to the other point, what do I miss? Uh, one important point is that uh, if you can notice, today is Women's Day, International Women's Day. And suppose we want to know about International Women's Day and we write here Women's Day. Google throws up this result. And let's see what these guys throw out. Women's Day. As you can see, it's going to show you a wiki kind of a link, uh, non-updated kind of data. No, context is not that great. Uh, the, the freshness of this data set is much, much more clear. And most importantly, there is a doodle also in there. So you, you feel it's more cohesive to what is happening right now as opposed to just an indexation of existing data, right? If you see, just take this as a result. I am some, I'm somebody who really likes reading news. So if you want to look at news and news articles, Google is a great source. So West Bengal elections, for example, let's see what it throws up. It, it will show you most likely the date and some re recent articles on that. Whereas here, I'm actually doubtful what it will throw up. I have not tested this. We'll see what it comes up with. Oh, actually, it's not even coming with elections. It says election commission as a drop down result. It is giving me some links, but look at look at the nature of the links that have come up. Right. So it's not that great in terms of recency of events and news articles and, you know, something that's contextual to your country. Uh, fun fact, if you saw the iPhone uh, search also, uh, Google threw, threw me and dot in kind of a domain, whereas uh, DDG threw something of a dot com domain and it did not refresh to although the Amazon link was dot in. But if you can see, this is not an India website, so it will redirect there. So context is a little bit lacking on DDG, but that's fine. To me, it's pretty OK. But where does DDG then go ahead apart from the ads and, you know, the privacy focus? One thing that I found that it does very, very well uh, and it's related to sale. We were looking at templates. So, for example, if I want to like look at HTML5 templates, uh, these guys showed me some fantastic templates which were available for free. And it showed me domains which most likely Google will not show you. It will show you most likely an ammo or those standard, uh, you'll take a look what, what, what these guys throw up. And this is where I kind of started thinking that, hey, this makes much, much better sense to look at, right? HTML5 template. This is where I started to see the difference. And if you can see the results are also like that. Once you go into the results, you'll also notice that. But this is where I felt personally. For me, this is one area that I really liked how uh, DGG return results. There are various other examples also. Privacy obviously is a very important point, but that is not the main reason why I chose DDG. I just wanted to see if the alternator, alternative is really good or not. Uh, in some cases it is, in some cases it is not. And finally, what, what am I looking forward uh, to from DDG? Well, in case, in case you're listening to this and in case uh, you, you've seen those specific examples, I would love you to give you more context to the search results, especially to results related to recency, right? Something that has happened recently, give more context to that. Maybe it's an India thing or maybe the toggle for India was not on. But if you give more context, people will find the search results more relevant. And uh, that, is, that is almost it for my first video of this format. Thank you, Loom, again, shout out to Loom, because that five minute counter tells me that, you know, this is enough time to talk of all the things that I find relevant. These are the five main points. I hope you like this video. In case you like to see something similar uh, related to products, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Bye.